Olympic hopeful Lucas Body continues his journey to the 2020 Olympics with his Rumble in the Falls boxing event November 17th. It's looking really good. I got a really good card. <clears throat> got a few local guys on the on the show. I got Andrew Reskovich. He's having his first fight. Um, I got a couple guys from Welland and myself will I'll be headlining. Good. Now this fight, this is the second annual one. You did this last year. Um, what's the whole point of this uh, fight? Basically, th these are just local fights, just to get the, <clears throat> just to get the vibe, the boxing vibe in Niagara Falls. For when I go to Tokyo in 2020, I need all the support I can. Lucas has a, a uh, focus. Uh, that is unprecedented in my experience. He lives and he, and he breathes uh, boxing. So he trains like uh, someone 10 years older or 10 years uh, you know, with more experience. He's very professional. So he's taken the, the, uh, you know, the bull by the horns and he's gone out to, to the best, some of the best competitions in the world and he wants to continue that. So with that, we, we try to run these, these local events that, that produce the monies necessary for him to continue that high level of training. Of late, Lucas's biggest fight has come outside the ring. A recent reorganization of Boxing Canada has centralized operations in Quebec. Subsequently, Lucas has found himself on the losing end of some bouts to Quebec boxers. The situation has left him frustrated and has also prompted him to change his style in the ring. You know what, it's, it's, it's not only me suffering from the, the politics, you know, there, there's lots of politics in boxing. You know, it comes with the sport. Um, how am I going to ensure that it's not going to happen again? I don't really know at this point. You know, I just fight, I do my best, and right now that's the best I could do. So that's the first thing we've done with Lucas this year. We've, we've given him high profile fights, uh, 11 of them. He's coming to his 11th fight this year. We've kept him tremendously busy uh, with different opponents, learning different skill sets, and predominantly fighting in a style that is uh, devastating to the opponent. So we, we've switched the, the basis from scoring points to scoring uh, massive blows, as it were. It's not just the sting of losing a judge's decision that hurts. The losses in politics have meant a drop in Lucas's amateur funding. This means a successful rumble in the falls is critical. Uh, definitely, I definitely have a few trips and um, training camps that I want to uh, attend in the new year and maybe even in December. I got one trip I want to go to in Vegas. Um, I might be going to Jamaica, and I also want to make a trip out to Cuba. Well, Lucas needs uh, what every fighter in the top 20 in the world need, uh, which he's one of. He needs uh, the funding, he needs uh, the grassroots support, and the funding to get the international experience in a timely fa uh, fashion so that when he gets to the, the box offs, he has that wealth of the uh, recent experience uh, pushing him forward. Winner, ring number four, about number 14, red corner, Lucas Body. Lucas will use Rumble in the Falls as a springboard to December's Ontario Golden Gloves, where he'll continue the pursuit of his Olympic dream. Yeah, well, it's only two years away. You know, we're almost in 2018. We got, before I know it, I'll be, I'll be working on the qualifications in no time. Um, two years goes by real quick, you know, and there's a lot of experience that I could be gaining over this next two years, getting me ready and getting me to the next level to win a, a, like a gold medal at the Olympics. If you'd like to be part of Lucas's journey, come join us November 17th for Rumble in the Falls at the John Michael Conference Center. For more information on tickets, call 289-501-0026. For The Source in Niagara Falls, this is Kevin Coyle.